Petticoat Vintage. And my name is Jane. What made you do this of all things? It's Sarah's idea. Um, we actually sat around a kitchen table in, 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 in my house and um, that's where Petticoat Vintage was formed. <laughs> yeah, I've always loved vintage ever since I was younger. Um, it all started off with vintage accessories, you know, um, going around Birmingham, going to London, going into these really cool quirky shops and I just fell in love with it and then um, it just happened from there. I just always wanted to own my own vintage shop. And did you get it from your mum as well? Sort of. <laughs> my mum's always been a snazzy dresser um, and you've always well liked to look nice, haven't you? So I think that's come from you as well. I like nice, um, glamorous, nice pieces, um, different clothes, unusual clothes. Clothes that were classy, that were good cut, a nice fit. Right, there are two of you. Okay. So who does what or how do you share the work? I'm mainly the one that picks all the clothes, um, but you like to help as well. Yeah. So I like to know what's in fashion and I like to read vows and look around the high street, see what's, see what's current, whereas you tend to like more of the glamorous dresses. Like, yes, and yes, yeah. Um, so that collaboration, um, I think we've got better stock for it though because my ideas are more for younger people whereas your I, ideas... I'm, I'm the mature side. Yeah. Of, of, and also as well I did all the paperwork and sort the accountant out and I sort the bills out. Where is Sarah? But when it came to decorating the shop that was more of a collaborative wasn't it? Because yes. I wanted it to be more um, a bit out there. So you had to rein me in a little bit and make it a little bit more classy. How did you come up with the business name? Um, it was actually um, my boyfriend, to be honest. I remember we had a few ideas. I wanted um, Brack Boutique because our last name's Bracknell and uh, no one really liked it. And then um, my boyfriend kind of liked the idea of petticoats, you know, like dream boats and petticoats and... Uh, Yes, it's just petticoat vintage and it just flowed nicely. Dreamboats and Petticoats, is that a song or something? Dreamboats and Petticoats from a musical. And we actually threw some ideas around but it just didn't flow. How long has the business existed? Uh, the business has existed for three years. 2013 we opened, uh, the first week in December. Well, we actually uh, took the lease on uh, in the October. Um, because the shop was so, it needed such a lot of work doing to it to bring it how we wanted the shop to look. What exactly do you sell in the shop? We sell um, men's and women's clothes from about 19, some bits from 1940 but mainly 1950 to 1980. Um, accessories, um, evening dresses, casual wear. We've tried to have as much as possible so the customers have a lot of choice. Which of you is the style god or how is each of you reflected in the shop? I would say that we've both influence the shop in our own way. I think I'm more into fashion, you know, I studied fashion at college. I used to collect um, Vogue magazines when I was younger. Um, I follow fashion a lot, I, I subscribe to the Vogue magazine. Um, I love models, I love couture. 
Um, so I think a lot of it is me, but I think um, having my mum's influence, it broadens the stock a lot more than if it was just me on my own. I had a lot of influence with the 80s because that was my time. I, I, I was the child of the 80s, so I grew up with the 80s. A lot of the clothes in the shop is from 1980, and um, that's because I remember the clothes that I, I had in 1980. If you hadn't opened a vintage shop or boutique, call it boutique, um, what would you be now? I actually used to help my husband's business. Um, I, I do all his book work, which I still do now. Um, but I was, I because we've got several people working for us, so that's, that was my main job before I actually came to Petticoat Vintage. I think I still would have gone in the direction of um, retail. Um, I've had a lot of experience with retail, and it's kind of all I really know. And because I love, I love customers, I love talking to customers, I love selling them something that they are going to wear and you know um i also love animals as well but um that's probably something i'm going to do in the future <laughs> describe the perfect petticoat vintage customer um the perfect petticoat vintage customer would be someone who's willing to try something new someone who's coming here a little bit not knowing what they want to wear and then asking for help because a lot of people when they come into vintage shops can get quite overwhelmed with you know the different styles and the different decades and when they actually ask for help um, they'll find that you know something really suits them and then they'll find the perfect look. My perfect petticoat vintage customer would be someone who's not into vintage, into vintage and who actually comes into the shop for the first time and looks around and um, falls in love with vintage clothes for the first time. Do you have a vintage style god or heroine? Oh well I love Chanel, I love Coco Chanel. Um, I think she, she was amazing, she was classy. You can wear vintage Chanel and it still looks good today and I think you feel classy as a, as, as a lady. The main person I love and I've loved her for years is Debbie Harry. I just think she's just amazing. And um, I based my look on her, especially when I was 18, quite a lot. I wore a lot of leopard print, neon, red lipstick. I bleached my hair so much it's fallen out. Um, and then on the other side, I love Stevie Nicks, you know, how chilled and flowing her clothes were. And, and then I love Cher for just being Cher. I love, I love strong women, especially strong women from that, who didn't care what they wore. You know, that they were standing out there and was just themselves enough. And Madonna as well, obviously. Good, Good taste. taste. Yeah. Good taste. <laughs> Can you tell me the cheapest item that you sell and the most expensive? Our prices do vary quite a lot, you know. You can get, um, we have got handbags in here for a fiver. And then we've got fur coats, you know, gorgeous fur coats for £200. So we try and cater for, for all individuals, um, right from students all the way up to, to mature ladies and also guys as well. Glam tips. I think the biggest tip I give everyone who comes into the shop is try things on. It may look brilliant on the hanger, but as soon you can never tell what it looks like until it's on you. If you are a little bit scared of vintage, start with accessories, wear a nice brooch. Um, yeah try things on. Uh, we've also got mom jeans as well back from the 1980s so you won't look out of place because uh, I've got them in Topshop but the ones in Petticoat Vintage are original. Uh, we've also got um, short little leather jackets as well so you, you won't be out of place wearing that. Okay. Give us your best vintage pout, pucker up in other words, and tell us what lipstick you generally would wear. Well, I haven't got any lipstick on at the moment, but I tend to wear um, Dior lipstick. I'm more like um, like a, a lip gloss, like a very pale pink lip gloss. I'm pouting all day. <laughs> um, in the day, I do tend to wear just a faint pink oh, or red, uh, light red. But on the night, I just go full on out and I, I red up. If you could reincarnate as someone, in the vintage world. 
who would you come back as? As Marilyn Monroe, Debbie Harry. <laughs> What's the best way, Mum, to connect with Petticoat Vintage um, online? It's Facebook. Um, we're also uh, setting up a, a new web page as, as well. You can give us a ring. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> we have Instagram, Twitter. We're also on Pinterest. Um, we're selling on eBay. We also do a lot of vintage fairs across the country, so um, keep a look out as well. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs>